Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I'm not only 25 and this is Undead Legacy. And this video is all about the vehicles of Undead Legacy. So I had a couple of comments about this saying when you're done with your playthrough, would you mind just spawning in all of the different vehicle types? Because I'd bought a quad bike in my playthrough. I'd uh, managed to assemble the Dune Runner. And I think it piqued a couple of viewers' curiosity about how many vehicles are there. So I thought I'd make a little video about it. And in doing so, I've actually learned quite a lot myself about the vehicles. There's some I didn't know about, and it's quite fascinating, actually. So let's take a look through. Just really quickly, I have loaded in some mods. So the mods, as far as I can tell, the vehicles are largely the same as vanilla, except for I think this shock absorber one is exclusive to Undead Legacy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think this is vanilla. So that's them, they all still exist. And the other thing I wanted to mention is how you unlock being able to repair these, because you'll see vehicles lying on the side of the road, it'll say repairable. In order to repair them, you need to learn these things. I think in this order, I've got them set up here. So you need to learn bicycle maintenance. Now you can loot these in bookshops sometimes, if you're lucky, but you can also craft them at your research station. And you have to learn them in order. You can't suddenly learn gyrocopter maintenance, for example, and then be able to repair a gyrocopter. You have to, first learn these in the correct order it goes bicycle maintenance and then you've got to learn mini bike maintenance so even if you wanted to go straight into getting a motorcycle you'd have to learn these two first then there's motorcycle maintenance car maintenance which is actually where i stopped i never did any of these other ones you've got van maintenance truck maintenance and gyrocopter maintenance now i've broken these down into four different categories just for the purpose of this i'm going to talk about fastest vehicles i'm going to talk about cargo capacity and i'm going to talk about fuel efficiency the most exciting one of all so over here we have our what I would categorize as bikes slash small vehicles. You've got things like this go-kart looks really cool, doesn't it? And the quad bike. You've got things like the Renegade, the Thunderbird, all that stuff. So out of these ones, the fastest, and I'm basing this off turbo speed, is the Renegade at 65 kilometers per hour. The slowest one, obviously the bicycle at 36, right next to each other, funny enough. The highest cargo is the quad bike, but you've got to remember when you're on these ones, it counts how much you've got on you as well. So you're the passenger, you're driving it. This quad bike's got a capacity of 700. If I've got 400 worth of stuff on me, it'll only carry an additional 300 when I'm driving it. So yeah, there we go. You've got the Thunderbird, the motorcycle, which is called the Wanderer in this, the mini bike, the Renegade, bicycle, quad bike, and go-kart. So which one did I say was fastest? Um, I'm basing this with no mods on the Renegade. So why don't we give that a little spin? I should have put some clothes on. All right, I'm going to build up a little head of steam here wow it's not the best at handling but it does certainly get up there in speed and just because i want to see what it's like let's see what this thing handles like oh yes i like that can we do a power slide oh we're doing donuts look at that power slide doing donuts <laughs> oh how i wish i had one of these pro parking all right, so that's the go-kart. That's really fun to use. I mean, it's worth saying Subquake has done an amazing job with this mod. And look at all this variety. This is what's missing in vanilla, this sort of variety. If you're wondering about the most fuel efficient, because I know somebody out there will be, obviously it's the bicycle because it doesn't take any. But if we remove that from the equation, the most fuel efficient one, I believe, would be the mini bike at two kilometers per litre. So there we go. But if you're all about the fuel efficiency, this is the most fuel efficient, but... It only goes turbo speed of 40 kilometers per hour versus the 65 kilometers per hour of the Renegade. So it's a trade-off. Next up, we've got things like, you know, the um, 4x4s and cars. I thought I'd break them into their own kind of category. Now, I have got these three here are identical, but I just wanted to spawn three of these in. Because as you can see, you've got a security SUV, police SUV, just a normal red one. They've all got identical stats as far as I can tell, but just the fact that there's such variety in the paint jobs and types and i think this even has working sirens so that's just really cool but in terms of cars the fastest vehicle would be a tie actually between the old coupe and the phantom so these two side by side conveniently these reach a top speed and turbo of 70 kilometers per hour so look at them they're pretty cool looking things aren't they It'd be nice if there was like a really clean looking sports car in the uh, game that you could maybe get late on instead of everything looking so apocalyptic, but I get it. These do look really cool. They'll reach the same top speed as one another. The difference being this one, the Phantom, does have more cargo capacity. Uh, in terms of these ones, as you might expect, the SUV takes the lead in terms of capacity of the cargo. That is 1500. 
That's the same for all these three here, obviously. The um, vanilla 4x4 truck actually isn't great. It's below everything else in every category. So yeah, I wouldn't go for one of these if I was you. I'd go for one of the others. If you want cargo, go for this one maybe. If you want speed, this one. If you want a solid all-round car, I can highly recommend the sedan. That's the first one I went for. It's got a decent top speed at 60 kilometers per hour. It's got a thousand cargo, 0.5 kilometers per litre. For fuel efficiency, it's a good old car, that one. In terms of the most efficient, Quite surprisingly, it's actually the old coupe at 0.7 kilometers per litre there. This is your most fuel efficient and one of the fastest. The only thing letting this down is the fact the car goes only 700, whereas most of the other ones of these are into the thousands. I've also included the Dune Runner in amongst these and I've hidden that over here somewhere. This thing is great if you haven't seen it. So much fun to drive and again, you can mess around with it, do power slides and just look how cool that thing is. Again, great, great job by Subquake. This one has a top speed of 64 kilometers per hour, so it's no slouch either. Now, if we move up the order here, I've broken it down into vans and trucks. So it's a kind of touch and go here because these are kind of trucky and whatever, but just where I think the threshold is, it's not an official list by any means, but it's vans and trucks. Now the mining dump truck, I'm just going to tell you about the stats for this separately because this is going to skew everything. This thing is ridiculous. It's got 200,000 cargo capacity, I think. Let me look it up. You hear it is, look. So cargo capacity is 200 and that's, yeah, 200,000, isn't it? Making sure I'm not reading that wrong, but yeah, it's ridiculously huge. Look at that thing. And if you're wondering what it drives like, you're not alone, because I am as well. I think I just drove over, whoa, hit <laughs> an iron node and a nearly tipped a thing. Now, what I want to know is, I ah, see Mr. Trick there, a bit of boop, boop. Yeah, look at that though. That thing is a beast. Yeah, you'd only really use this for, you know, huge, huge mining trips or whatever, a late game on a multiplayer server, maybe. But still, it's one of those things you'd probably want to just own it just for how cool it looks. Look at that. Beast. Yeah, because this thing skews the list so much, I'm going to kind of remove that from the equation. But just so you know, it stats 32.4 kilometers per hour, which is, you know, pretty slow as you might expect, 200,000 cargo, 0 0.05 kilometers per litre. So by far the least fuel efficient thing we have on our list here today. But yeah, that thing's just nuts. In terms of other vans and trucks, the fastest out of these, you've got things like the ambulance, you've got the little mining cart here, which itself has a uh, 6,000 cargo, which is massive. Uh, so yeah, out of these, the old van, the ambulance, the mining truck. In terms of the fastest, quite surprisingly, I think, is the old van at 55 kilometers per hour which is not that far off some of these cars over here. So actually holds its own there. This thing also has a very high cargo at two and a half thousand. So vans where it's at probably for a mid range vehicle all rounder. But yeah, the van's the fastest out of this crew here. Surprisingly faster than an ambulance, which, you know, does need to get places quickly, you'd think. The slowest vehicle you won't be surprised to hear is the mining cart coming in at a mighty 35 kilometers per hour. Poor little thing. As we've said, that does have the highest cargo capacity at 6,000 though. And the most fuel efficient out of these is the old van again. So at 0.45 kilometers per liter, the nearest one to it being the ambulance at 0.25. So interesting again. And then after that, we've got the flying vehicle. So we've got the, what we know as the gyrocopter, I think it's called the Scout in this. We have the Raven and we have the DH800. So look at the paint job on that thing. So the fastest out of these is actually the Raven, which I'm quite surprised about, but this one has a huge top speed of 82.8 kilometers per hour. The cargo capacity, unsurprisingly, is the DH800. This has a cargo of 3,500, so that's, you know, massive. These two both have 0.1 kilometer per liter fuel efficiency, so not the best. Uh, this one actually has pretty decent two kilometers per liter, but only 400 cargo and 54 kilometers per hour. So in terms of speed, so that's how it breaks down. Um, I have not tried to fly one of these yet. Does it go straight up? Is it like the gyrocopter? How does it fly? <laughs> um, I've got a problem. Yeah, because it's got no wheels. I don't know how to actually make it go up. Uh, so I can't actually give you a demonstration of that one. Pretty cool nonetheless. I'd need to take some flying lessons. I can fly the gyrocopter and that's about it. But there we have it. I mean, that's the selection of vehicles when you enter this mod. If you've not seen it before and you don't know much about the mod and you're thinking of picking it up or you just don't know how vehicles work, you know, hopefully this video has been interesting. It's been a bit geeky, hasn't it? Talking about the different specs of the vehicles and stuff. But if you're going to ask me my personal favorite, it's really hard. Now, I really like that go-kart. I really enjoyed this quad bike as well from when I had a go on it in the uh, game, just because it feels really fast. Just cool. Who doesn't love a quad bike? Look at this thing. Yes, the AI are currently turned off. But yeah, this would probably be my favourite out of the 
bikes. And I do love this uh, sedan. I do. I've grown really attached to it, but this thing looks pretty cool, doesn't it? The old coupe. Feels sluggish after driving some of the other things, but it looks really cool. Just the fact that you get all this variety. I absolutely love it. And I do really enjoy this Dune Runner as well. It's really cool. Let me know what your favorite vehicle is from this mod in the comments below. Let me know as well if you've ever managed to get the mining dump truck. I feel like that's such a late game item. It's going to be quite few and far between in terms of people who've actually got that far. All right, through the power of editing, I'm now... I don't have a go at this and I just managed to take off pretty well. It seems like you have to tilt it forward to get it moving forward, which kind of makes sense. Handles okay once you're up in the sky. It's pretty nimble, actually, once you move side to side and stuff like that, using the WASD. But this is the Raven. Yeah, pretty damn cool. Let me know if you've ever had one of these in the comments. But if you've enjoyed today's video, let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you'd like to see more content in future on the channel, why not subscribe today? Thank you so much. Have a good one. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye. Pro Landon.